And this is a, one of the best harvest days yet for our berries. Wow, that's incredible. Hi everyone, Ellery here and welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about the primal cane and the fluid cane cycle of raspberry plants. Yeah, they give us a lot of good privacy. Huh. There are two kinds of raspberry plants, the summer bearing and the fall are also known as everbear. Both are biennial. The roots in the crowns are perennial. Biennial means they have two-year life cycle. The summer bearing blooms flowers during the first year and then bear fruit on the second year during summertime. The second year fruiting cane is called the fluricane, as they are also known as fluricane bearing raspberries. During this time, you can see buds or vegetation at the bottom. Those are the new growth, which are called the primocane. Come fall, the primocane of an ever bearing raspberries will bear fruit. Thus, they are also called the primocane fruit bearing raspberries. Around this time, the fluricane will start to die off, and it's the best time to prepare your primal cane for winter time. Late season care. After the harvest, prune the fluoricane canes to pour fruit, cutting them back to the ground level. These canes will not produce fruit again and may become susceptible to diseases if not removed. Mulching. To protect their roots and crowns from harsh winter conditions, apply a thick layer of mulch around the base of the plant. Mulch materials like straw or wood chips will help maintain soil moisture and regulate temperature fluctuations. Come winter, the fluoric canes are all dead and the prime canes will go into dormancy. Goodbye winter, goodbye primal cane. The dormant primal cane now enters the second year and they are now called the floricane. At this time, dressing is required to keep the canes upright and make harvesting more manageable. Install a sturdy trellis system using posts and wire supports to support the canes as they grow. It is also important to loosen the soil around the roots or the crowns to encourage more growth. This new growth will be our primal cane fruit bearing raspberry for this year and the flurry cane for next year.
check our raspberries. How much we can pick today? I wanted to show you just an example of what these little morsels look like. So here they are little raspberries and what you do is you just pull like that and you leave this part on the vine. And you can see that there's no more left. There's another one that'll come in probably tomorrow or the next day. And here's another one tomorrow and that'll probably be the next day. So it looks like we'll probably have at least two more days of harvesting or maybe three. It's a race against the birds. So the ones that the, the birds pick at, obviously we'll just let them go to the ground. If you, Go to the grocery store and you look at the cost of these raspberries. They are not cheap. One of the things to remember when you store raspberries in the refrigerator, um, you want to make sure that you rinse them right before you eat them. But next year, this particular stem will have the fruit on it. All the stems that we have now that are bearing fruit will die off and new ones will come up. And that's why they continue to be uh, a fruit that proliferates for a long time. Let's make raspberry cobbler.
thanks everyone for watching and I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to check out our stronger video. Happy gardening and happy cooking. Have a great day.